Hi everyone, it's Gavin of Bear Creek. No, I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, that kind of back to where it all started uh, about a dozen years ago. I did a, a John Boat project. Uh, and I kind of turned it into sort of like a fast boat sort of setup inside the John Boat. And uh, even though I switched to beekeeping and things like that, uh, that uh, video, original video, was my, and still is, my most popular video that I did. Uh, so if you're interested, you know, you can, uh, you know, take a look at the old uh, project that I did, the old, the old John boat. This uh, spring I sold it, finally. Uh, after completely abusing it uh, over the last 12 years had an absolute ball in, in the boat um, but it was time to uh, as they say out with the uh, old and in with the new so this is my new uh, project my boat now I didn't want to do anywhere near as much work on this boat as my last boat. I kind of wanted, I just don't have the time that I once had. Um, I wanted it to come, you know, already set up. So I kind of ordered it, custom ordered it, I guess. Um, and what I uh, did a lot of research last, uh, last summer and last fall, I pulled the trigger and uh, ordered a, uh, a Tracker Grizzly. 1640 or 1654 sportsman um, and um, I knew that I think I ordered it in August and uh, I didn't think it was going to come till this spring but uh, as it turns out it actually came quicker than we thought um, it came in mid-September but you know all of my accessories that I wanted like uh, the trolling motor and and the, the uh, hummingbird locator uh, were back ordered so needless to say I ended up closing on the boat before the boat was even built to be honest with you they just put it away for me in storage for the winter and uh, I closed on the loan and I just paid for it all winter now I finally was able to pick it up and uh, bring it home and uh, after, after the accessories that I wanted to be installed have been installed. And um, this is my first opportunity, really. It's been so nasty, the spring is just awful. Uh, it's been my first, uh, first opportunity to actually just, you know, get in, look around, poke around, uh, talk about the good things with it, talk about the bad things. Now, when I was researching this, um, there was very little. 1648 Tracker Grizzly, um, there wasn't that much out there for videos, and um, which was a little disappointing. There was a couple. Uh, there, was a, there was one kid that did 1548. Um, this was a lot narrower. I didn't really care for that near as much. Um, and then there was a 17 footer, and I just didn't want that long because I would have trouble getting it into a garage. So I opted for the 1654. Fits perfectly in the garage. Um, with a little adjusting, you know, it'll it'll fit three people. Um, I have to do some modifications to it to do that. Um, but I just wanted to give you a brief tour of the boat and um, show you kind of what I did. And uh, so far, I haven't had it and even had it in the water yet. But um, I'll give you the good and the bad as far as you know, what I like and what I don't like um, after getting the boat and really kind of looking. It's, it's, a, it's a lot different from seeing something online to actually physically getting your hands on it. Um, so, like I said, I just wanted to point out a few things. Some good, some not so good. Um, I went with the 40 horse uh, upgrade instead of the 25, which is standard. But that, that in itself came with... Uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of difficulty because they didn't adjust for the bigger motor. 
as far as that's concerned. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second, but um, if you want to give me a second, I'll get down and uh, I'll give you a brief tour of the outside of the boat, trailer, and whatnot, and then we'll come inside and I'll show you what's going on. Okay. Uh, again, this is a 1654 Grizzly Tracker Sportsman T, T for tiller. Um, comes with a powder coated trailer and uh, it has the, uh, the winch here with the safety on it. Uh, I don't know why they need the safety on it. I've tra traveled with boats my entire life and I don't think I've ever seen uh, a hook giveaway here, but you know, so be it. Uh, a couple of cables instead of chains to hook up to your trailer. Crank dolly. I got went with the camel. Uh, mar the uh, I think it's a Marshland camel. But I don't even have the numbers on it yet. But I won't put those on. Those I, I already ordered. Uh, comes with uh, bunks. Uh, down below and uh, side bunks here uh, for guides uh, that don't quite touch um, which is of course the way you want it uh, tie down straps you now uh, typically you use the tie down straps on these right here but uh, because this model comes with uh, the sort of the beaver tail pontoons on the back um, they have these um, pin mounts for uh, fixed position, so you can put uh, long pins in so you change for shallow water. And uh, they got one in every corner, so there's four of them. So, but they also double as a nice spot to uh, cinch your boat down to your trailer. And uh, you know, it's also good for clipping. Uh, if you run it an anchor in the back or the front, it's also a good spot to clip that uh, when you're underway. Um, transom saver. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why any boat needs a transom saver. If any boat manufacturer tells you uh, that if their uh, transom can't handle running down the road, it ain't going to do you much good on the water either when it's hitting waves. So, but yet. There they are, they're, they're a big deal. Uh, 40 horse Merc. Uh, the reason for the pontoons is sort of twofold. Number one, nowadays you run a four stroke motors instead of the, the old two stroke, which were probably half the weight. And, uh, and so the pontoons on the back actually help because John boats are pretty light style of boat so all that weight would make the boat sit in the water like this instead of like that so with the pontoons the pontoons help even that out in the back it also helps you get up on plane a little bit easier or a little bit quicker I should say I don't think it's going to help you with top end speed but I'm a big duck hunter and uh and it'll also help me um sit in a little shallower water get back in some shallower water a little bit easier as well uh, i went with the 40 instead of the the 25 just to get here and there just a little bit quicker um, it has the long tiller on it and that in itself added the big problem for me uh, the 25 has the short tiller and when they give you the option for the for the 40 it only comes with the long tiller but here's the problem with it See that where that tiller comes out right where you put your seat so they already mounted uh, the seat plate and it would if you put a seat in there it would be you wouldn't be able to steer your boat the bay would hit the back of your seat all day long and it'd be a pain in the ass so now then you got to run with it just a seat cushion uh, back here which kind of defeats the purpose so I bought a I bought another plate just just like that it's not camel and then I'll, I'll be moving it and positioning it somewhere over here. Um, I got a coral hole, which I hate doing, absolutely hate doing. Uh, 
because you, you better make sure that you got it right because you only get one shot at it. And, uh, and I'll secure that down there and that way I can just use this uh, to sit. So I gotta, I'll have to sit down, position it, make sure that I can move the tiller and it's, it's not a big reach for me or anything like that. Okay, uh, it comes with uh, tie down cleats, one in each corner. Uh, this is for the, uh, the back running lights, nav lights. Oh, it's really, this is really hard to lift up. Okay. All right. Kill switch right there on the motor. Uh, it has a uh, tilt trim on, on it, auto tilt trim, uh, trolling um, control here forward neutral reverse but the trolling uh, the control is here so you can adjust uh, if you're into trolling or whatever uh, it's got electric start with a key uh, the back end opens up here it's got a six gallon gasoline straight gas unit obviously this is uh, four stroke so it's uh, self-contained oil in the in the unit itself so it doesn't burn any oil uh, it comes with a bilge. Now, I, an extra that I did, I had a float switch installed down here uh, because if you're sitting out in a dock and it's pouring rain at night, um, it'll just kick in whenever you need it to uh, get some water out of your boat. And then this is where it, it exits right here on the side. So that's kind of a nice little feature there. Okay. So, another advantage to this uh, Grizzly, the trackers anyways, is that they come with the VersaTrack uh, system, which is essentially um, a slot that runs all along the gunnel uh, on either side all the way up about, you know, a foot and a half short of the bow uh, so that makes it nice and um, so what I did I'm doing I'm doing a little bit of these things these are some modifications this is just a you know cup holder you know you can put pliers in there hooks around the edges um, pliers in here you know I can throw a box of ammo in there if I choose uh, it's nice but it also it also slides so that I can put it really really anywhere um, it's got uh, quarter 20 bolts that I use. Um, makes it, I bought this uh, 3 8 inch plastic. I'll put a link below where I got it. But um, I had it cut down. It, it's only, you know, it, instead of West Marine, I went and went to the manufacturer itself. And these things are, uh, I, I ordered six of them. They're a foot long by four inches. And uh, it was about $26. You know, 30 something was shipping. And, uh, and I got them for two of these. I'll have one here and one up front for the front passenger. And then uh, I'm also going to cut them in half and make some for my rod holders. So it'll be on the VersaTrack system as well on top of those uh, uh, those little uh, plastic bases. Um, you know, storage area right underneath there. There's where battery goes in. This is your switch panel, which has your horn, your nav lights, and um, your bilge. Okay, it also comes with a 12 volt accessory for a cigarette lighter uh, option. Charge your phone, whatever you got. You can put your phone charger in there and stick your phone in here and charge it while you're uh, while you're sitting around. Um, what else we got? Um, I'll probably go inside here and show you what's what what I did on the inside. Okay, yeah, it's rated four persons or 640 pounds. That's a shot of the 
the panel. Now, the downside to this, I'm going to have to put my seat over here, and uh, my legs are going to be pretty near this, this this switch panel. There's nothing I can really do about it. Um, I wanted to do a, a sliding seat right here, but because this is angled, that, that sliding seat actually, it's an angle that runs along the edge, and it... I, I didn't even realize that this wasn't a bench seat. It comes at an angle. So that eliminated the possibility for me to put that sliding seat in there. I could have just screwed that in, slid a seat in there, and you can adjust it anywhere you want to go. But I can't do that now. So like I said, Merc or uh, Grizzly didn't really think this through when they uh, gave that as an option for the 40, uh, for that long tiller where that seat position was. So that's a, that's a downside. Uh, there's the there's the back battery. Now I got a, a hummingbird uh, Helix 7 G3 on there. It only has down imaging. So what I ended up doing was I bought a a Helix 9, which comes with down imaging and side imaging. And uh, I'm gonna replace that uh, with the 9, and I'm gonna put the 7. Up at the front up at the bow and the 7 can run use the transducer from the Tarova and I'll show you that in a minute okay now the boat only comes with one seat uh, and one seat pin and uh, so you got to buy extra seats I bought two nicer seats for it but this is the front storage area right here and uh, as you can see, I got a second battery up there. That's for the trolling motor. And, uh, and I also have, there's a, there's a two bank battery charger right there uh, for it. A Minn Kota, uh 10 amp, I think it is, battery charger. These are, the, these are the bases that I bought that I'm gonna be putting those in a little bit later. But it's got a pretty good sized storage area in there. Uh, the good thing about this is that when rain comes on the deck, it'll run to these rails right here instead of going into your your box. And if the rails get full of water, it'll spill over into this little this little tube right here. And there's a tube on the inside right here, and that runs down underneath the deck out to the back of your boat. I mean, the the, the tube just ends right there, but uh, the floor under the floor here. It's wide open and the water can drain all the way to the back of the boat and go out the bilge. So this can stay dry. Um, one of the things I was perplexed about, I'll show you that right here real quick. Breathe! Come here, bud. So one of the things I was perplexed about was the front seat mount. And I thought to myself, well, what's gonna stop water from going in here, down that hole, and uh, into the storage box? Cause it literally, I don't, I'm not gonna shove my camera down. Well, maybe, I don't think I can. Let's see. Yeah, it's right there. But they actually have a, a little uh, cap over the, the bottom of this to keep water from, from going down. So all water will do is essentially collect in there like a little, little glove. It'll just hold the water in there. Um, I thought that that was kind of cool. So, and I might have to implement the same thing when I put that, that uh, seat base right there because under here is all foam. And that water going down into that foam, that foam will just absorb all that water. And this boat will become extra heavy, extra heavy. So what else? Um, so I went with a Tarova. Uh, it's a uh, 45, uh, 55, so 55 pound thrust, 45 inch uh, Tarova. Now it comes, the Tarova comes with uh, mega down imaging transducer built into it uh, which is why it'll be good to use that hummingbird that helix 7 
that only has down imaging for the front because um, it's a waste to uh, to put the nine up front because it doesn't have side imaging on it so uh, you know the the Tarova uh, it has um, iPilot but not iPilot link on it right here is a uh, this comes with a, from the factory wired like this for the uh, for any trolling motor um, it also comes with a 12 volt uh, charger but this I added this is a uh, this is a plug-in for the for my boat two bank charger that's where I'm going to mount the uh, Helix 7 and uh, that's essentially the GPS well it's not really the GPS it's uh, GPS is on the head of the Minn Kota all this does is tell the GPS that which direction the boat is headed um, as you can see there's a little arrow on top of here and it just points that way and so so when you're you're doing a vector and you're doing a heading the GPS on your on your trolling motor knows which 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 way you're headed uh, and uh, and you won't be going in circles like you know spot lock and and if you're just heading for a specific tree or whatever it knows that that is the front of the boat that's where the direction of the boat goes so uh, pretty cool this is the front nav light plug-in right there okay so what this boat does come with here this is what they call the gun box now one of the things that I wasn't aware of is I thought the gun box actually came all the way down to the floor here but it doesn't it's very very shallow so I was like well I can use it for tackle boxes but tackle boxes don't really fit in there very well the small ones do but the big ones it won't they won't fit so um, you know I guess you just got to go with that's why I got the bigger one uh, stuffed underneath there I'll, I'll have a pile of them underneath there but that's or up front uh, but in here Maybe the raincoat goes in there, in here. The raincoat goes in here. Um, this is the pin, this is the pin that comes with it. Now the funny thing is, this is the pin that comes with it. And you notice that that's a uh, a screw type pin. Well, that's not a screw type base, but this is what came with it. So God only knows what the hell they were thinking. Comes with a spare plug right here uh, okay this is the uh, let me put this seat back okay this is the, the rod storage area it's uh, it also uh, has um, storage for your uh, for your lights, nav lights. They actually, the front nav light actually was in there, but since I put the charger in there, they moved it over here. My uh, my dealership did that. But um, this is the the boat storage, good enough for three rods, seven and a half foot long. These tubes in here. Uh, extend out away so you can like I said you can fit a seven and a half foot rod in there um, you're, you ain't gonna put anything else in there really except three three rods uh, not a lot of room other for anything else um, it only fishes two obviously so right out here in the middle I want to put putting another seat base right in the middle so that I can fish a third person it's a 16 foot boat it should be able to fish three people uh, if they don't you don't have three people you take it out and you walk right over so I don't know why they decided to do that anywhere you see these black little caps along the side along the gunnel that's where they injected foam into the boat so spray foam went in all these spots over here um, the drainage for water goes into these holes now there's two up front right here and here and there's three in the back right there and there and there 
and uh, gives you a little bit of a view of what you're seeing. Um, I wanted to like sit there and check out where the beam was so I know where to drill this thing. I'm going to have to drill this offset a little bit because you can see these rivets going in to connect this plate in the center. So I'm going to have to offset it just a hair. Um, I'm probably going to put it over here somewhere. Yep. Probably going to have to put it right here somewhere. Um, just offset it just a little bit so I'm not in the center so that when I you know, set the plate, it's not going to hit on one of any kind of a uh, beam or structure on the boat because that's my biggest fear. Core a two and a half inch hole and you can't use it. What am I going to do then, right? So, uh, that is my Grizzly 1648 in a nutshell. Uh, I like the camo pattern. I like the usability. I do not like that they, you know, this is a, a stock boat, obviously, and they can, they'll throw any motor on it when, they're, in fact, what really should have happened was um, they should not put this uh, seat plate on there until the client, the customer decides w what motor he's going to have on it because otherwise it's, it's kind of a wasted position for it. Um, These also come with a little bit, you know, night lights here. Uh, there's one in the back. There's one on the front front for working. I'm thinking about installing a little bit of uh, of green lighting, um, you know, for night fishing. This is how the Versatrack system works right here. You can see the little dimples right here. Your quarter 20 carriage bolt can pop in here and then slide down and uh, it's really kind of kind of kind of nice when I first bought the boat you know I told them you know I wanted to I, I bought the hummingbird and I said I wanted them to mount it somehow they didn't quite understand that the, there's a Versatrack system I guess they'd never seen one I, I they're a dealer so it blew me away but they went and drilled they went and drilled it in right here you can see where they they pop riveted well, when I came back and I went like what the hell are you doing you know, and they're like, what? And I said, well, I want the option to move this where I want it. That's the whole purpose of this. Uh, so that I want the, the hummingbird in, in the spot that I want it. And, and if, you know, somebody else is using the boat, they can move it too, a little bit here, a little bit there, whatever, you know, perfect for them. However they want to set it up, you know. Um, with the nine inch, you know, um, you know, maybe I don't want it over here. Maybe I want it over here a little bit. Maybe I wanted it on this side or something like that. It's really easy to slide this over, take out those, and then move it to the other side if that's where I decide I want it over here instead. Um, you know, that's the beauty of the Versatrack system. You can slide these things in and out. I don't have to permanently mount anything. I don't have to put screws in my boat. Um, just really, really, really good options. So... I like the Versatrack system. Again, I don't think my dealer really understood how to how to use it or how to do it. They they he said he had a devil of a time. It doesn't look like this is even on there correctly. I I don't know how the hell he put it on there, but uh, I got to take all these off, obviously, because I'm switching this out. But you know, so far happy with the boat. Um, they mounted the trolling motor exactly where I wanted it um, you know enough inside so that it uh, you know when you're parked up against the dock it's not bumping the dock or anything like that um, it does have a quick release on it which I also wanted so I can take the trolling motor off and on as I please you know when I'm out duck hunting I got a duck blind and that thing's in the way it's just really easy to take off gonna be gonna be a nice nice addition um yeah that's it so when i when i do some i'm gonna do some videos showing you uh, my little hacks here with the uh
drink tote and the and the rod holders and whatever else I can think of. Um, you know, I'll show you, kind of show you what what's what. Oh, that's that's where it is. I thought it went underneath the. I thought it went underneath the boat, but it doesn't. This is a new design. I thought it went down the plate, but it actually pops the water um, for this for this hose. Actually, comes out right here. They used to have a just go underneath the, the deck, but they don't. Now they now they have a now they have it popping right out there. So that's cool. But yeah, I wish this um, you know the gun box. It's detachable, obviously. You can just take it with you. Uh, but I wish it went all the way down to the floor because it's a little bit of wasted space under there. Uh, I got to get some rod holders in here, uh, extra rod holders to hold some rods. Um, hold my net whatever I need so it's you know for fishing set up it's going to take a little bit to uh to get it set up exactly how I want it to set up but uh looking forward to getting it out in the water here pretty soon opener is uh is a week away it's a week away from well today's Friday the, uh I don't even know what day it is today's the 30th and uh, yeah, yeah opener is next Saturday, the 7th of May. So yeah, I can't wait to get out there, but I gotta get these uh, these seat posts on there and uh, and I gotta get that hummingbird uh, uh, installed. I'll probably do a video on that. But yeah, but, uh, you know, um, this, is, uh, this is the boat. This is the Tracker Grizzly Sportsman uh, 1648 and um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, you know, I'll probably, you know, my channel was always supposed to be a, a hodgepodge of outdoor hobbies of mine. And um, that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna get a little bit more into fishing this year than beekeeping. My hives are back there, but um, didn't have the best winter for my hives, but um, just kind of transitioning into, into something new. My father passed away this past year it's the guy that taught me how to fish. Uh, passed away in October, so um, kind of want to get back into fishing a little bit. Sit out in the water, think about him for a little bit, and uh, share my thoughts. Uh, and uh, so, you know, stay tuned. You're gonna see some videos of me out in the water. Uh, hopefully, catching a few fish. I'll try not to make it too boring. Uh, if I don't catch any fish, I won't have any videos. I'll give a review on the water for this thing, let you know how it handles, if it porpoises at all, whatever, it's top speed, you know, how the depth finder's treating me, how the Tarova's treating me, um, you know, I trailered it all the way from where I live up there, from where uh, our cabin is up in Hayward, all the way here, three hours, and I didn't even know I was trailering anything, it trailered really, really, really nice, so that was a that was that was refreshing and it was really easy to trail so anyways till next time take care have a good one